Before I start today, I would like to acknowledge the Wendry people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather here today, and pay our respect to their elders past, present and emerging. I extend that respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders people here today. Archibald William Roach was an Aboriginal Australian singer. He was born on the 8th of January 1956 in Whitmore, Victoria. He was a singer songwriter in Paris in the Gunjabara and Bundjalung Elder and a campaigner for the rights of the Indigenous Australians. On the 30th of July 2022 in Warrnambool, Victoria, he sadly passed away from an unknown lung disease. Age of 66. Roach first became known for the song Took the Children Away, which featured on his debut solo album Charcoal Lane in 1990. He toured around the globe headlining the opening shows for Joanne Armour Trading, Bob Dylan, Billy Bragg, Chessie Chapman, Suzanne Began, and Patti Smith. His work has been recognised by numerous nominations and awards, including a Deadly Lifetime Award for contribution to the healing of the Stolen Generations in 2013. The Stolen Generations, also known as the Stolen Children, were the children of Australian and Australian Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islander descent who were removed from their families and state government who were removed from their families by the state government agencies and church church missions and Australian federal government under acts of their respective parliaments. The removals of those referred to as half caste children were conducted in the period approximately between 1905 and 1967. Although in some places mixed race children were still being taken into the 1970s. At the 2020 REM Music Awards on 25, 25th of November 2020, Roach was inducted into their Hall of Fame because of his, and his 2019 memoir and accompanying album were called Tell Me Why. Archibald William Roach was born on the 8th of January 1956 in Rupna, Victoria. Rupna is named after the Aboriginal word referring to the bend in the Golden River near Sepperton in central Victoria. Roach was of Gunjamara, Kirewarong, Jajabarong and Bunjalong heritage. In, in, in 1956, Roach's family, along with the remaining Aboriginal population at Kamarungunja, were rehoused at Murumbala. The fam subsequently moved to, their f to Framlingham where his mother had been born. At the age of two or three, Roach and his sisters, along with the other Indigenous Australian children of the Stolen Generation, were forcibly removed from their family by government agencies and placed in an orphanage. After two unpleasant placements in foster care, Roach was eventually fostered by Alex and Dulcie Cox, a family of Scottish immigrants in Melbourne. Their eldest daughter Mary Cox would sing church hymns and taught Roach the basics of guitar and keyboard. Roach's love of the music was further fueled by Alex's connection of Scottish music. He was a big influence on me, a good influence. I love him to the day I die, die. Alex. At 15, Roach was contacted by his natural sister who had just told him their mother had just died. He spent the next 14 years on the streets battling alcoholism. Alcoholism. Roach met his future wife Ruby Hunter at a Salvation Army dropping centre known as the People's Place in Adelaide when she was just 16. In an interview with Ando, he said that Archie Roach went to school at Lilydale High School when he was a teenager. Archie Roach opened up about if he could have ever saw his mum in Lilydale at all because his mum worked as a cauliflower picker in Sylvan, which is Sylvan is only around five to ten kilometres away from where he went to school. This story's right, this story's true. I would not tell lies to you like the promise said they did not keep. And how they vexed us in like sheep 
Said to us, come take care of him. Set us up on mission name. Told us to read, to write and pray. Then we took the children away, took the children away. The children away. Snatched from their mother's breast, tell this is for.